Hey guys, welcome to X Force Workshop. This is Alan, and today I have an exciting product to show you guys uh, an intelligent yet handy uh, programming device, Mini Keytool. With Mini Keytool and your phone, you can do transponder generating, remote cloning, you can do remote generating, frequency tests, and so on. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so let, let me give you guys a brief overview of the device. Uh, on the top, we have the remote generation port. That is for you to connect it to the device for remote data generation. And then we have the BLE antenna on the right. Uh, that is for the ignition switch coil detection. And then we have the detection coil. That is for you to put the chip in so it will recognize. And then we have the power button uh, on the left. Just hold it for a second, it will turn on. Then we have the display screen right here. It will show you the battery level, the firm, firmware version, and then the Bluetooth status. Uh, on the bottom, we have the re remote identification area. So just press any button on the vehicle remote to check the frequency. And uh, lastly, we have the char charging port located uh, on, on the bottom. First, let me show you how to do the transponder detection and then the frequency detection. Press and hold the power button for one second. Here, we can see the serial number, Bluetooth status, firmware version, and battery level. Now, we are ready to do transponder detection and frequency test. Press the power button for one second. Do the transponder detection. Now, we can see the IV46. Short press the power button once to start the frequency test. Press and hold the power button for 4 seconds to shut it down. Then I'm going to show you how to connect the device with the x course app. Then turn on the mobile phone Bluetooth function. Click the upper left corner on the screen. Then click Bluetooth select to search new device. Choose the available device. After you heard the sound of TTEC, the device is successfully connected with the app. Now ready to use. Then I'm going to show you how to generate the wireless remote. Click the vehicle remote and make sure the wireless remote has battery inside. Put the wireless remote in the detection coil. Click generate. After you see the green check, the wireless remote generation is not complete. And then we're gonna do the transponder clone. Click transponder clone. Click read transponder and put original key into detection coil. Then we can see the transponder information. The transponder is clonable. Click clone button to start clone. Select the transponder type for cloning. Put the super chip or wireless remote to complete clone. Uh, lastly, we generate the transponder. Put the transponder into the detection cord. Click generate. Select transponder 48. Put the wireless remote into the detection cord. Click generate. Generate transponder completed successfully.